Hi, I'm Jim from Conveyor, and I'm going to show you how to allow connections from your LAN or the internet to web applications running in a Docker container. This video is going to be specific to ASP.NET Core 6 web applications in development with Visual Studio 2022, and it is going to use our free extension, Conveyor. Here I have a web project already created with default settings and Docker set up and enabled. So if we want to connect to this web application from any other device, it's not going to work as is, because the host process doesn't accept connections from other IPs. Conveyor will allow connections from the LAN and then also the internet. I can install it from the extensions menu and download Conveyor from the online tab. To install any extension, we need to close Visual Studio. Now Conveyor is installed, we restart Visual Studio. The first time that Conveyor starts, it will open the firewall helper. This gives you an easy way to open a range of ports that Conveyor will use to allow access from your LAN. Now, Docker picks random ports for connections from the host computer to the container. But to make it easy for Conveyor, we will explicitly set the SSL port that we want Docker to use. Conveyor will then map its own port to the Docker port we specify. To do this, we open launch settings.json under properties, navigate down to the Docker section and add a property called SSL port. Then give it a port number of our choosing, usually something less than 65535 and in the tens of thousands will work, but if it doesn't, try a different port number to find one that is free. Now I can run the project And in the conveyor window, there is the local URL using the SSL port we specified and a remote URL that conveyor generates, which can be used to access the application from the LAN. Let's say I need to access the app from the internet. I just need to click access over internet and log in. Or if I didn't have an account, click sign up now and follow that. And that gives us a public URL that we can use from anywhere on the internet on any device. I hope this is helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email support at conveyor.cloud. Thank you.